Hey guys, it's Karima. Welcome back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a DIY bedroom makeover for my daughter. She's been having a rough time during this pandemic and it is so well deserved. So I wanted to do something special for her just to make her feel good and to really fully decorate her room. As you can see right now, there is nothing really on her walls. She has a small corner by the window that has some things hung up, but for the most part, her room is pretty plain and empty. So we're gonna be doing a lot of DIY decorating ideas and I'm going to be showing you guys that in this video. This was definitely a budget friendly makeover. So most of the things were DIY'd. You'll see a lot of her decor we made ourselves to save money, but to make it fun and to make it an activity that we could do together. Of course, her room is a mess. There's no surprise there. So we're gonna start off by DIYing some of the decor that we need to make and let dry. And then we're gonna come back and clean up her room and you can say goodbye to all these empty walls. So I wanted to show you some of the pieces I got to decorate her room. This is a wind chime and I thought it was so pretty. I love the hearts but I just didn't love the color. I got this from Burlington Coat Factory. It was actually tucked in between some picture frames on one of their shelves and it didn't have a price tag on it. They couldn't really find anything similar so they gave it to me for five bucks. I am going to use this ultra matte paint and primer sp spray paint in the color rustic pink to change the color and make it match her decor. This piece will be going on her front door. So as you guys can probably tell by this clip, I am new to the DIY community and yes, I was about to sand down this paint. I don't know it looked shiny and I didn't think the paint would stick to a shiny surface and my husband is like what are you doing it's spray paint spray paint is oil based it will stick. Here's a quick little Dollar Tree haul. We had got this picture frame, but we didn't end up using it because it actually broke as I took it out the package. I got these two heart-shaped dishes. I got this little small glass cup, and I got these two vases, like milk jug and that one. And I'm going to spray paint them all white because I want that like farmhouse vase look. So everything here was a dollar of course because I got it from Dollar Tree. I'm just starting off by cleaning off the glasses and removing the stickers and preparing the glass for the paint. If I was going to do this again, I would have used regular paint instead of spray paint because I don't have my technique down. I had a lot of drippage with the spray paint. We kind of struggled with it, but it still came out really beautiful in the end. I'm using a chalk paint, spray paint by Rust-Oleum. That one was $6.50 and the pink paint that we had earlier was about $3.90 from Walmart. Worry, no. 
So this little wood dish here was a little tray that I found at Ross. It was five bucks and I thought it would be really cute to put on her dresser as a little jewelry holder. She has a few pair earrings and a couple of bracelets that she likes to wear and keep on her dresser. So I thought this would be a cute jewelry holder. So we tried to stain it with this rose color wood stain that we got from Home Depot. It cost me about eight bucks. I think because we didn't sand it down to a raw state or because it wasn't real wood, it wasn't really picking up the stain color. We tried it a couple of times and it just wasn't working so we went a different route. So I picked up this little frame and K from Walmart. I wanted to make an initial sign. I saw a few but they were so expensive so I decided to make it myself. If you guys want all the details on everything we made in the room and all the prices, I'm going to have a video on my vlog channel that you can watch. So as you saw through the walkthrough of her room, she doesn't really have any artwork on her wall. So I really wanted to get some canvas paintings for her. Again, that is quite pricey. So we decided to make some for her ourselves. And this was really fun because I included Chloe in this project. So we got to sit and paint together. This was a really fun little DIY project and it was really cheap. Again, check out my video on my vlog channel so you guys can get all the details and all the prices on what we paid for this entire project. Stop running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back Yeah I'm in love with you in every way That joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know if I'm dreaming I'm slipping away I hear your sweet so I just bought a couple of bottles of acrylic paint from Walmart and a couple of cheap brushes from Walmart as well. And we decided to decorate these canvases ourselves. We're just using the themes, colors of her room and some colors that also complement those colors. And we decided to make three canvas pictures that she can put up on her wall. Don't worry, you'll see how they turned out in the room reveal. So now that all of the little dishes are dry, the paint is dry, you can see what I plan on doing with them. So this first one, I wanted to make her her own little succulent plant, but I didn't want to give her the responsibility of having to take care of a real one. So I got all of these supplies, including the succulents themselves from the Dollar Tree, and you'll see how we put it together to make a little succulent plant for her. I did struggle with this a little bit. Next time what I would do is glue the foam board to the dish first and let it dry completely, then stick the succulents and the rocks in. Now we can finally get to her bedroom. Of course I have to start by cleaning it out because my daughter keeps it a mess but I will say since she's got her new decor and her room makeover she's been doing a good job with keeping it clean. I'm just changing her sheets and this is just a, a way to keep it cheap. Use sheets you already have. She has two or three sets of sheets at this point so I just switched up her sheets and her comforter to give it a fresh feel. Ah. 
Every single time I clean Chloe's room, I get a ton of questions on where her sheet and comforter is from and her bed set. So the sheets and the comforters are from Target. I think it's the Pillow Fort brand. You know where all the kid comforters are because it's so colorful over there. I got it from there. In her bed set, I bought from Nebraska Furniture here in Texas, but they do have a similar set from Ashley's Furniture, I believe, and they do sell it online. Here's another tip to keep your makeovers cheap. Use DIY pillows that you already have. And if you wanna switch up the color, use pillowcases. I took these pillowcases from my pillows in my office that we were not using. So I put it on her bed because her sheets are gold and white and a lot of the accents are gold in her room. And her whole furniture set is like a champagne gold color. So it matched perfectly and I didn't have to spend a dollar. If you watched my last video, my laundry routine video, then you get it. Here is another pack of new underwear for Chloe. Like I really have a problem. If you're new here, I just wanted to do a quick introduction. My name is Karima. I am a mom of two, a wife and a full-time registered nurse and a YouTuber. I make cleaning videos, mommy content. I have a vlog channel that's always linked below. And I offer a lot of positive mommy support and motivation. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing, like the video and leave a comment below. I'm always in the chats right after I post. My daughter is really into her stuffed animals, so I decided to pile them up here in her chair instead of all over her bed. She is growing up, but I'm okay with her loving her stuffed animals. We did have a nice discussion about how she keeps her dresser and we made a deal. I bought her some nice decor for her dresser and a nice jewelry dish so she doesn't have to pile her junk up here and she has the perfect spot for her jewelry. No more mess on top of the dresser and I must say she's doing a really good job with it. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning. Yeah, you just have your ways to get me high. You make all my dreams come true. It feels right. We also agreed no more stickers on any of her furniture because this was a pain to get off. Makeup, I always come back to you. You move me in a way. I don't know if you caught that, but yes, I did sniff the rag. I make DIY cleaners. I also make DIY bug spray. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't cleaning my daughter's dresser with our bug spray. Come back to you, you move me in a way never thought any 
now we're finally getting to some of the fun part the decor again guys I'm gonna keep repeating myself but if you want all the details of where I got everything how I did everything please watch my video on my vlog channel I do a complete walkthrough of her room I tell you everything I bought everywhere I purchased it from and if it's DIY I, I explain exactly how I made it So these little pictures I'm taking down, we got them from the Dollar Tree a while ago, but I'm not getting rid of them. You'll see later how I repurpose them. around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to So here's tip number three for a budget makeover, shop your home. I just ran downstairs to my living room to see what pieces I had down there and in my little closet to see what pieces would work in her room. Mm -hmm. It should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. So this little makeover project did turn into a family affair. Hubby came to help me with all the things that I needed hung up on the wall. Kingston is down on the floor playing with Chloe's dollhouse. And Chloe and I are just kind of making the final decisions on where we want everything to be hung. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I've always loved these little decorative types of shelves so I had to pick one up for Chloe's room. Right now you see me just kind of playing around to see where I want the decor to fit. So here is one of the canvases that we made. It turned out so beautiful. Was it perfect? No, but it was perfect because we made it together. We had planned to put all three above her bed, but two fit better above her bed. So we put one over here by her closet door. Sorry for the shakiness. Chloe is actually filming this part. I also added that dream catcher to her closet door. The best thing I did and I want you to know was letting you in from that moment I knew that you were all I missed. Baby, it took just one kiss. Cause here in your arms I can find 
So hubby hung a couple of nails so we could put her canvases above her bed and I added that little macrame wall hanging on the side of her bed. It is such a beautiful piece. So now it was time for me to finish her nightstand table. I didn't like the way I had the decor arranged previously, so I decided to switch some things up. I was going to hang that K on the wall, but I love the way that it was propped. Again, I shopped my home and I found that gold charger plate that I was not using and decided to stack the decor on that and I loved it. guys I so badly want to get rid of this lol dollhouse it is just big I really don't feel like she plays with it that much but she really wants to keep it and I just feel like it takes up too much space in her room so we decided to move it down to the playroom So now it's time to finish up the decor on her dresser. As I'm buying these pieces, I kind of pick up things that I think will look good in her room, but I never really know exactly where I want them. I kind of just figure that out as I go. This is one of the candles from my cousin's company. You guys have to check it out. We never lit that candle, and every time you walk into Chloe's room, you can smell the fragrance of the candles. I'll leave her link in the description box below if you want to check them out. It smells so good, and they're really good quality. And as you can see, I repurposed those Dollar Tree paintings, and I used them as decor for her dresser. So here is the reveal of her finished and fully decorated room. I hope you guys love it. Tell me what, what you want to do. I'll do anything. As long as I. Right. 
I will have the video linked below to my vlog channel so you guys can get a full walkthrough of everything with prices and where I got them from. Even the DIY projects, I tell you what I made and how I made. So check that video out below. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. This was really fun to make and I loved everything that we got for her room and she loves it as well. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel and supporting me. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.